After 10 years in space and a 6.5 billion kilometre journey, it all came down to this. The European Space Agency is celebrating the Philae probe being the first ever to land on a comet. No, we can't be happier than what we are now. <laughs> we definitely confirmed that the lander is on the surface. And After separating from the mothership seven hours earlier, the washing machine sized lander gently touched down on Comet 67P Churimov Gerasimenko bang on schedule. No easy task on a comet hurtling through space at 40,000 kilometers per hour. The landing is an outstanding achievement. Nobody knew what kind of conditions the lander would be faced with when it was developed more than 10 years ago. And the unusual shape of the comet has made its landing a particular challenge. The probe has already begun performing analysis on the comet's ice, rocks, gases and organic material and is due to send back pictures. Astrophysicists hope Philae will unlock not just the secrets of the comet, but also the origins of the solar system and even life on Earth. We're sort of looking back in time to, um, you know, what happened at the very birth of, uh, of the solar system and the creation of a planet like the Earth, uh, which ultimately spawned life. And uh, going to a comet present day allows you to do that by looking back in time at a remnant of the process that stayed like that ever since that formation period. The mission, which was approved in 1993, hasn't come cheap, costing 1.3 billion euros. Rosetta, which carried Philae, will continue to follow the comet throughout the remainder of 2015 as the primordial lump of ice and dust hurtles towards the sun.